I so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called Deep Red from 1975, and uh, this one's starring David Hemmings and Dario. Uh, what's her name? Um, Dario Argento's girlfriend. She looks like a uh, she male, but she's not. Um, or at least she did look like a she male in uh, Tenebre, more so than Robert. Uh, Eva Robbins, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, great flick, um, very underrated uh, giallo. And the ironic part was that I just saw David Hemmings, I just reviewed his movie uh, from 10 years earlier, uh, Be My Guest. So it was kind of freaky seeing uh, old hirsute eyebrows in this one. Like, uh, within a few months after I saw Beam, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think I think it must have been uh, uncanny by happen, uh, just uh, uncanny uh, circumstance that I happened to see him in two movies within ten years of each other uh, during the same year. Anyway, um, Yeah, I think there's a skinny puppy video out there that has a nice scene in it. I'll post it in the description box. Um, but there's about a kill every 30 minutes. It's about a, uh, a telepathic person who gets murdered by somebody in the audience. And then Damien Hemmings, the uh, jazz pianist, he go, he's like obsessed with investigating this murder on his own. He's like uh, the... Um, the dude in Sleepless, the the young boy who saw his uh, his mother get murdered in Sleepless, uh, but in this case he he sees the uh, the um, the telepathic person from Germany get murdered, and um, there's a, there's a big plot twist at the end. You you really have to stick with it. I mean it's two hours long. And people probably lost patience after one hour, uh, which is probably why it didn't do well. But the ending is just spectacular. Um, I can't think of a better ending other than Suspiria, but um, or maybe Tenebre. Uh, Sleepless was a pretty good ending, but um, yeah, they're all good. I love Dario Argento movies. I gave this one five stars. I guess Suspiria is my favorite Dario Argento movie. I didn't really like Inferno as much, but all of his other movies are great. Tenebre, uh, this one, um, I'm about ready to watch Phenomena. Looking forward to that. Uh, Sleepless, as I mentioned. Um, what other movies have I seen him do? I guess he produced Demons or something. That was a pretty good flick, too. Um, yeah, i got to see all of his movies, even the bad ones. Anyway, uh, getting back to the plot, so David Hemmings is running around. He used to be in some band um, that was kind of like the Beatles or the Beach Boys or one of those mid-60s bands. And I guess it didn't turn out, so he decided to be a movie actor. So um, he's in this one. He's... He's pretty good, actually. Um, better than Be My Guest. I, I don't like it that much. But um, Dario Argento's girlfriend is in this. She's pretty good. Uh, she's got the gap teeth and the, and the funny uh, red-colored lipstick. The funny hairdo that looks like uh, Dario Argento's hair. And um, flat chest, of course. Uh, but um, I think I've seen her naked on um, Yahoo Images or something. Um, she's got kind of her her boobs kind of sag. It's, it's not that she has flat chest; they're just kind of low. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a, a native from Africa. But uh, in any case. Um, not too sure why Dario Argento was turned on by her, but she did write Suspiria, so 
And she she had that great uh, blood curling scream in Tenebre. Um, so I respect her very much. Uh, I love her work. So um, I, I've never seen her in a bad movie. And uh, she's never written a bad movie. Uh, Suspiria is my favorite, one of my top all time favorite uh, horror flicks. So there you go. Anyway, getting back to the story, David Hemmings is running around trying to find this murderer dude. Um, he's chasing all kinds of clues that lead him in the wrong direction, and then uh, the ending is just great. Uh, the kills are great every 30 minutes. Um, it, it does kind of drag on, and there's a lot of build-up, uh, silly dialogue like, "Oh, you're you're a uh, bourgeoisie, and I'm uh, one of these proletarian dudes." Um, the dude ends up getting offed at the end. Um, not spoiling the ending, by the way, but that guy was just plain goofy. Um, I really couldn't get into any of the characters. I really preferred to watch the uh, plot unfold, especially the last ten minutes. Alright, so that's going to be the end of my review. Uh, there really isn't anything other much to say about this flick. I'll post the trailer and the, uh, the cool-looking... Uh, it's fan edited the skinny puppy video with some scene, Dario Argento scenes from this movie and what else? Oh, the music is by Goblin. That's probably what turned me on to this flick was the music. Uh, but I uh, I also heard a lot of good things about it, so I wasn't disappointed. Um, at the end, I was kind of. Um, waiting for the build-up. It's a long damn movie. It's two hours. So you gotta be patient, dude. But, um, other than that, great flick. Um, if you could just sort of uh, whiz through the first hour and 50 minutes and fast forward to the end, you'll be set. Because um, it is rather a uh, chore to watch the first hour and 50 minutes. I, I will admit that. Still, it's worth it. Check it out later.